Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the women's flyweight bout between Poliana Botello versus Kareem Silva. <clears throat> but yeah, how I see this one right here is um, I'm leaning um Botello here. Kareem Silva's getting into favorite treatment for whatever reason. I guess because grappling and but the, yeah, it's, it's not even it's not even a whatever the case may be. It's a clear case because people have concerns about Botello as I do as well. But when you look at deeper into it, Kareem Silva is very much questioned by her own grappling. You look, see some submission loss on her record. You see some of these fights that people just like see here's the easy sub win. God, they just take go right to her like she a tomato can and just jumping on leg locks. So like she got some concerns as well with her grappling department. And then you look at her fight. She wasn't the one who got the takedowns. On her container series fight, her opponent got like three takedowns, and then she was able to get a submission off her back. So, going against Batello, Batello not really looking. I mean, Batello isn't looking to the, to take her down. She ain't looking to grab her. She's looking to keep us on the feet. So it's not like Batello is going to take it to the ground. If it does happen, it does happen. That'd be some horrendously low fight IQ. If she, she ends up getting tapped, if she get some takedowns, lands a ground pound, actually taps her out. Then hey, Batello either showing that Silva isn't that good on the ground, or Batello made some improvements. But other than that, I feel like. The clear gist of things that Botello don't want to go to the ground. Kareem Silva wants to get to the ground, but hasn't really shown the track record to get to the ground against anyone decent. Mostly low-level woman. And then again, her last fight, her opponent took her to the ground. She never got any takedowns. So her opponents took her down, and then she was able to get some bitch off her back. So, and it's not like she was over there rolling leg locks or anything like that. So it was a case the position was given to her, and she took advantage of it. So I feel like I don't like that fact. And her striking still looks chalky her grappling looks very chalky still so i feel like this fight with padella with her experience can keep this on the feet land the heavier shots and just show a different level of striking that and just a level just a different level of game of the game that kareem silva has not yet so yeah yeah so i just think padella should be able to keep this fight on the feet and deal some heavy damage i think she could put her out of there now i'm gonna say um first round stoppage for Botello. I think she goes out there and reaffirms herself in the division, even though next time she gets in there with a grappler, that's actually can take her down. A lot more experience, or a little bit more experience, but more experience and has more credential takedown ability. Probably get exposed, I mean, not exposed, but to show who she is again. Unless, hey, she actually made some significant improvements, but I think where she at currently, who she is. As shown to be is enough to be Kareem Silva at this point from what we've seen from Kareem Silva. So in this fight, I got Poliana Botello via first round TKO.